a lot of you not married. I want to help you. I really want to help you. I'm talking about if you're here and you don't have a ring, you are not married. 10-4? Guys, men, young men, if you cannot provide, if you cannot protect, don't need to get married. Because if you really want what's best for the other person, you want to be able to provide and protect them. Don't, don't tell me you love them and you're going to live in your mama's basement. Because t- I'm a free insight, guys. There's going to come a point in time she ain't going to want to live there. She's going to want more than that. She wanted more than that when you married her, and she's going to want more than that later. So, men, guess what? You get out, and the first thing you to do is make sure you can provide, number one. Number two, make sure you can protect. Before God ever gave Eve to Adam, he put him in the garden to till and provide and protect the garden. Then he brought Adam. I mean Eve. So guys, number one, if you don't really want what's best for them, don't, don't do that. Don't do it. See, another thing, if you're not going to eventually put a ring on the finger, quit trying to enjoy the benefits. Listen. Listen. Listen, listen. At the store, we sell some used cars now, and I don't know anything about it, but let me tell you what. They always want to come in and drive it before they buy it. That ain't the way it works in marriage, guys. You don't drive it till you buy it. Amen? All right. That's good, Brother James. And all the guys just went pop. Still true. Single women. I'm liking this way too much. Single women. If you don't trust him and you're not willing to follow him, break it off. Well, you say, well, you know, that, that, but I'm lonely and I think this is the best that God's going to do. No, that's not the best that God's going to do. You do what God tells you to, what's right to do the best, he'll bring you the best. And if he doesn't bring you the best, he'll fulfill you in a way you've never been fulfilled in your life. The problem is not with God. The problem is you. See, see it, you, you think you're going to change him. Newsflash, you can't change anybody. They've got to want to change, and then God does the change. If he's not going to help provide, that means he's not helping protect. If you're only depend, if he's only dependent on what you have and your finances, that brings extra pressure on the woman that's not protecting. It's not about who makes the most money. It's about what you do with the money, and can you trust him? And if you cannot trust him, break it off with him. I mean, defriend them. Y'all know how to do this in the phone? where it just ignores them when they call. Text them, say, that's it, buddy. Defriend them. Block the call. 